We've got something pretty special with us today. This is a FLIR LS64. So this is from their law enforcement line, but it's available to civilians as well. FLIR markets this specifically to police and first responders, but think of this as an enhanced PS32. So there are three things that make this a serious jump up from the scout line. The first is that this uses a 640 by 512 detector in it, so that's the largest microbolometer that we've ever used. The second is that this unit runs at 30 hertz in the law enforcement model. The export version is the 7.5 hertz, identical to the Scouts, but the standard one of these that any American citizen would buy runs at 30 hertz, so it's a live updating feed. And then the third difference is because this is marketed to police forces, and specifically this is something meant to be kept in a cruiser, the idea is that you may have multiple officers but only one of them with a thermal unit. So in a situation where you want to be able to show other people what you're seeing through the thermal, you have a laser built in. Now this is a visible light laser. You can see it right there. Which means if you're familiar with traditional night vision, traditional night vision likes to use IR lasers, which are invisible to everybody else. Thermal night vision, you cannot use any kind of laser that will appear through the unit, at least not through my experience, because, of course, they're running off heat, not any kind of light. doesn't matter what your wavelength of the laser is. By using its 640 by 512 detector and with a 30 millimeter lens on the front, the LS64 can magnify up to four times. This unit charges by USB and has your black hot, white hot, and three levels of Insta Alert, just like the Scout series. It also has that four times zoom, and then you can adjust your brightness or activate the laser. Because it is built on FLIR's smallest chassis, the LS64 is very transportable. I've got it in a magazine pouch, but you can move it in a pocket or a backpack just as easily. The LS64 really is the optimal combination of size, power, and cost. It's only $1,000 more than the LS32 and offers substantially further range.